A federal appeals court has thrown out a $1.8 million judgment awarded to former Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura in the American Sniper defamation case. Ventura filed the lawsuit almost two years ago against the estate of the late American Sniper author Chris Kyle. Kyle claimed in his best-selling Iraq War memoir that he punched Ventura for making disparaging comments about Navy SEALs, which Ventura denied. The jury believed Ventura and ruled in his favor, but this latest development brings a new twist to the case. Ashley Roberts joins us from the newsroom. Ashley. Hi there, Kim. The lawsuit between Jesse Ventura and the estate of Chris Kyle is turning into a novel of its own. The defamation case dates back to July 2014, and it appears the page on this book isn't turning anytime soon. Today, the 8th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals rejected the jury's 2014 award of $500,000 for defamation and $1.3 million for unjust enrichment against Kyle's estate. The majority of the three-judge panel reversed the unjust enrichment award. The majority also vacated the defamation award, but sent that portion of the case back to court for a new trial. Kyle, the book's author, was killed in 2013. The former Navy SEAL was the deadliest sniper in U.S. military history with 160 confirmed kills. Kyle claimed in his book that he decked a man whom he later identified as Ventura at a California bar in 2006. He accused Ventura of making offensive comments about the elite force, including a remark that the SEALs deserve to lose a few in Iraq. Ventura testified at trial that he never made those remarks, claimed the altercation never happened, and said the accusations ruined his reputation. After the jury ruled in Ventura's favor, Cal's widow appealed the $1.8 million judgment. At that time, Ventura vowed he would never stop fighting. It's cost me out of my pocket close to a million dollars and losing my television show and being unemployable for two years because of this lie. So don't tell me that I haven't suffered. I've suffered a great deal from this lie. Before Kyle's death, he gave a sworn videotaped testimony that his story was true. The hit movie based on Kyle's book did not include the alleged incident. We have reached out to Ventura, his attorney and publisher, Harper Collins, but our calls have not yet been returned. Kim? Okay. Ashley Roberts, thank you.